Carburetors and more. Uh, carburetors and more. Okay, Emil, here you go. Now we're back to the electric choke. When you, when it gets 45, which may not ever get 45 or colder there in Gilbert. By the way, I had two customers right in a row from there. Pontiac Tri-Power, then the Corvette. Anyway, this wire here goes to a 12-volt lead when the key is on. Some people put a fuse in there, but it's not necessary. But this is this is when the key is on, not on, not constant 12 volt. You'll get a video and you'll get written instructions how to turn this on. Right now it's turned off. See the blade straight up and down. It's not choking. This does not choke it. You will have to manually set it up. No more details. Okay, here we go. We're going to do test two tests. One will be without a load. As you can see, it starts right up hand free. This is just like if you start your car up there in the driveway with your alternator, your water pump, and all your other accessories with very little load. Okay, we're waiting for the computer to warm up. Okay, there it is. It's warm. Okay, now we're going to throw the dyno in here. And now we'll find out what that Corvette carburetor will pull. These are pretty big CSM. I, I don't remember now what this one here was. But over 700. over 700 foot pounds. Okay, we, we pulled her up there until it hit the rev limiter. And uh, she does everything it's supposed to do. Okay, turn the dyno off, turn the carburetor off, and it's time to get out of here. Close up.